What's happening, everybody? Uh, we are on, I'm not gonna tell you what river we're on because everybody gets all mad when I post rivers that I fish on and I catch fish. Anyways, we're here with uh, Matt Rose. What's going on, guys? Uh, he is a guide in New York, but he just moved to New Hampshire. So what's your guide service called? Uh, Fly Hook Guide Service. Fly Hook Guide Service? Yeah. I'm gonna leave uh, the description for his Instagram and all that jazz in the description below. He's not guiding me today. I'm actually teaching, well, not teaching him, taking him out on a river that I've never fished before. Yeah. Uh, it's November 9th or 10th. It was 19 degrees this morning when we got here. Sun's coming up. Our eyelids are still freezing, which is kind of aggravating. Uh, but let's see if we get into some, uh, some rainbows, browns, and brook trout today. Let's see if we get the trifecta. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen, but we're going to try anyways. Try so it. We're going to try. Make sure you guys uh, subscribe and enjoy. All right, guys. First time fishing in November in New Hampshire. Yeah, it is. So this was stocked a couple weeks ago, I'm fairly sure. And it was a, a whopping 19 degrees out this morning. My eyelids starting to freeze up already. And I'm using a woolly bugger just because I might dead drift it. Fish! Fish on already, boys. Yeah, boy, fish already! Little rainbow. Oh, that big. And we're gonna pull them over here in a little bit slower water. Throw my rod up here. Hook is nice and out. And that's my first rainbow of the day today, boys. That was quick. You've been here for um, about 10, five minutes, something like that. Get a nice shot of the fish, a few inches. Get him back in. All right. All right, to tell you the truth, guys, I had no expectations of catching a fish today. So that was sweet. Uh, we're in a little nice pool here. Check that out. Sun's just coming up. Uh, it's November 9th, I think, 9th or 10th, something like that. Ah, pretty cool. So, excited. Let's keep fishing. And remember, I'm fishing uh, barbless hooks. These fish are uh, courtesy of a non-profit set up here in New Hampshire. Uh, there's only a few places to catch fish in New Hampshire in the basically the winter time. Um, that are legal, and this is one of them. Eyelids are freezing, but I'm basically I'm in uh, I'm in two seams here. <laughs> oh, he's off! <laughs> I was just trying to teach people that I'm in two different current seams, and uh, two different current seams, and that fish just skyrocketed out of the water which I really did not expect at uh, 19 degrees out. And uh, like I said, I'm fishing in a current seam into another current seam. So I really wasn't expecting that bike as I was trying to teach you guys. <laughs> you come on. <laughs> I would get on the uh, that seam if you can. Okay. So I would fish that seam if you can. If it's safe. And the problem with fishing these two different current seams is I have to maintain a tight line as much as possible. And I got tree coverage over the top of me here, so I gotta do some interesting uh, interesting casting to make everything work. Here we go, right 
right behind that rock, just like I expected. Another fish, boys. Epic fumble with the net. Yeah, hook pops right out because it's barbless. Nice bow there, and I want you to get to show the camera. That's his bow. Cookie cutter. Yeah, I'm not even getting my hands wet on this one. I'd really like to get across to that other current seam. It looks really juicy. Bo? Yep. Oh, he going downstream. I'll go, uh, he's a spicy little guy, isn't he? Nice. <laughs> nice fatty dude. That's a nice little guy on the worm. Right. Show him to the camera. Pretty fish. That's a nice fish. Nice bow. That's about the size I popped off down the other row, probably. Is it? Yeah. Yep. Uh, I don't know yet. What I tell you is this stone line right here, they're all stacked right in here. I knew it. He's coming right towards you. All right, all right. I'm excited again. Not that I wasn't before, but. Fat rainbow right there, boys. That's a nice one. He's got that nice color. Oh yeah, getting my camera wet. A big streamer. I drifting, drifting a woolly bugger, man. People are like, oh, you. I can fish one fly all year round, and that'd be it. Be a woolly bugger. Be a woolly bugger and three different colors: brown, actually four different colors: brown, black, white. Hey, relax, relax, relax. Here we go, boy. Another exciting fish landed today. That was awesome. Took one step forward. And bang on the drifted woolly bugger. Woo, we're professionals. We're professionals. <laughs> we want a name for this fly. This uses this is what Matt Rose ties. We both tie our own flies. Um, we need a name for that fly. Post it in the comments below. We'll check that out. And uh, that's a good way of doing it. That's a good way of doing it. <laughs> See, come up with some random name. Let's, let's come up with that. And uh, here we go. Feist. Nice big fish, man. That's not bad. Look at the pretty freaking colors. That is pretty. Look at those spots. Spots for days. That's pretty cool. Nice fish. There we go. Slide them out. Release. Here we go, he's just chilling. Yeah. Got a smile on his face. All right, that is the end of the journey for today. Uh, five trout in the net. Missed, I missed one, he missed a couple, a couple bites. I, I don't, I know I missed a couple bites. Uh, but make sure you guys subscribe. There's gonna be uh, some awesome ice fishing videos out and some tutorial videos out coming in the next couple weeks here because there's a very low season between ice fishing starts. Ice are skimming on the ponds this morning at uh, 19 degrees. And make sure you check out Matt's stuff. Like I said, I'll leave all his info in the description below.